Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Off the Menu, episode one two one, with my co-host Chante, <laughs> Moose, yep, and Brizzy P. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got. Go get his big steppers going Yo, crazy. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. that was so. It was good, huh? This is this is how I felt. Started great. It was so monotone. This is how I felt. I just had to get more into character. That's okay. Honestly, you know? it just sounded like as if you were just gonna eat gravy by itself. <laughs> and it's like that's, Bro, that's, that's all. What I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say anything. What? Hey, okay, that's all. That's too crazy. Right? You said gravy by itself. Gravy. That's already too much. <laughs> Maybe just mashed potatoes by itself. Yeah, that would have been like that. Yeah, great. Gravy by itself, that's like psychotic. I was psychotic. confused. Yeah, I was confused. That's really psychotic. it went down smooth, you know? No, no that's... No, what? No, no. I'm sorry? Whoa. <laughs> went down smooth Not today, gravy. did he? <laughs> 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 um, but thank you guys for tuning in. Episode 121 off the menu podcast. It's going to be a normal episode. No special guests except for Matt, Mr. You Pat. already know. His, I'm the special um, one. Representative of uh, Priority Source, of course. We've got IT technical support <laughs> in the back. <laughs> he said pri- Sifu Ying. <laughs> that's all. I don't, I don't know. Because she's Chinese and they send well, people. We actually, we actually go balls to the wall today, huh? We really kind of. Yeah. Even though I feel like we're I'll all try. very mellow today. Before we go balls to the wall, let's go ahead and talk about some events that are coming up before we start talking about. Oh yeah. Uh, leadership in the country. Um, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, no. <laughs> Bitcoin hitting an all-time high. Um, yeah, dude, the world's going crazy right now. Conspiracy uh, TikTok is back. Conspiracy is, conspiracies are back right now, and they're at an all-time new low. <sighs> you know how they're saying crazy. Uh, Trump cheated the votes, right? Didn't Trump say Biden cheated the votes too? Yeah, yeah, they made that, that recount. Thing. That was yeah. the big recount. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, but we don't talk <laughs> politics on the podcast. We, we really don't, don't care. I People, mean, well, we do care, but we care about you guys. We do. The, at the end of the day, this is what happens: is that we put out, we voice an opinion. Our opinions get shut down by one person to another, and it doesn't matter at the end of the day what people are going to think about what we think about. But we have an event, November twenty third. Yep. Be there. We had a previous mm-hmm. guest. He's going to be there showcasing our mm-hmm. Mr. Eddie Ekpo. Mm-hmm. It will be there. Ekpo. Um, we will have we'll, special guests. We shouldn't announce it yet. Huh? No, it will be announced anyways because we're going to make a flyer. Okay, well, but yeah, though the episode is going to be out by the time. Yeah, so this okay. episode will be out by the time we announce it. So who do you, who we have on the, this will be a first ever live off com- the menu yeah. live conversation yes. podcast um, with our special guest who? Nafan. She was a, a model. She is a model and a model coordinator. And I had the privilege to work with her. Um, wonderful human being. I'm excited for this. She has this kind of an insider scoop on kind of what goes around in fashion shows and runways and um all the things that need to be kind of assessed to kind of make sure everything runs smoothly. And and if you've been in a runway in a fashion show, they don't normally run smoothly. We just m- make it look that way because there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. And she has a good idea about how it goes. And I think that you guys would enjoy this because we enjoy fashion, clothes, and people. So Yeah. We are opening up to the floor to 30 um, guests that will be able to attend the live audience. Um, that will go up with a link here shortly. Yep. I think we'll probably have it up, honestly. But uh, by the time this episode comes out, it won't. It will probably be live. And then, damn, that's next Saturday. That's huh? right, next Saturday. <laughs> next this, Saturday. This yeah. weekend we're going to camp vlog, and all we're all going on a little break. We're about to get crazy. December, um, we're off. Yeah, December, we're, we're trying to take off, but at this point in time, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're trying to go to Japan. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> now you guys go to plan it now. Well, she even hits a penny. I'm going anywhere I want. It's true. So it don't matter. I'm out. <laughs> What is it like? 0.5, 0. 0.6? No, it's like 0. 0.002 right now. We got like two more zeros to drop. God. Three more. Damn. It doesn't matter though. It's gonna go up. And this Bitcoin's gonna go. Up. She made it to the moon. What? Are we? I don't even need it to the moon. These guys keep talking about a dollar. I'm like, dude, a penny will make me rich enough to be like, okay. So you dip. Like, if, what if it got to like 0. 0.95? I pull out half. Pull out half. Mm. Yeah. Just that's Amy and ours goal. Is just once it hits a million, we'll pull out half and then. And then after anything we have left over, we'll let it sit there, let it marinate for a few years and see what happens. Can I be your as maid? 
<laughs> you barely clean up after yourself. Fool. Hold on. Oh, wow. Get, I don't pay, get paid for that. If I'm getting paid from y'all, it's a different story. This man, this man, I don't know. You got to be qualified for the job. We're in Discord. Job. Someone walks into his room and is looking for something. He goes, sorry, my room's kind of dirty. And I'm like, shut It's just clothes. It's really just clothes. Yeah, so you'd be so getting too dressed it. every day. I know. And I'm getting too lazy to put You wear like four away. or five outfits a day. Yeah. Whoa. Well, if I had that many outfits to wear a day, I would, but I don't have that. If I had a suit for every day, I would wear a suit, honestly, but I don't. Just Mr. Rogers it up. I would, like be, come home, I would be Barney change. Stinson. I would be Barney okay. Stinson. Yes. Okay. Right. yes. I don't know. I don't know about that. You like, uh, you like to dress a little grungy, you know, a little. <laughs> but a the thing is, it's a different, you know, there's different levels. There's different levels. I could be that. I could also be this. You know, I feel that. I feel Speaking that. of this, we have our imbalance to <laughs> announce. Make sure you guys check that out. We still are waiting for a location. Uh, location, but be there for Parison's birthday, November 30th. Find out on his Instagram where it's going to be at. Um, yeah, and then if you dress up as a One Piece character, I might give you some. I might, you know, he might give you some. Uh, you know, we don't know what, but give he'll you give you kiss. some. But our imbalance <laughs> P2, we did it last year at the Ruin. It was December 2nd. It was a wonderful time. One thing that I wish I did, and I told you, because you were there, but I wish we just got more pictures and some videos because it'd be a little bit better to market. I was a little off the shits, but there was wonderful people, beautiful people, amazing time. Um, everybody said they had fun, didn't cost. It might cost this time just to help me out because you know I'm a little, I'm a little. Times are hard. You know? It is hard because we hard. got the holidays coming up. We had Camp Flogna that's coming up this yeah. weekend, yeah. so. Careful, bro. It's I'm looking steep for you right now. Man, you might have to take out a loan from me. Man, dude, it's looking so. <laughs> it's like I'm like looking at my bank account. I paid off my flight just to get it over with because I didn't want it to take money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at my bank account like, all right, how are we gonna survive two days in California? <laughs> Three days. <laughs> well, because really? yeah, well, we're there Friday. Friday that's yeah. when all the yeah. eating happens. Yeah, I and know. then not only that, there's gonna be a little bit of alcohol that night. Yeah. Um, we got Friday. Oh, so Friday night we're planning that, and then Saturday we got the whole entire festival, which is easy. That's easy. You that's just have to eat and yeah, like eat. drink whatever you're drinking there. So yeah, hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless there's fucking I'm good fire with, I'm merch. Good, I'm good with festivals though. But I know, bro. That's the only geez. thing because that year that's we expensive. went in 2019. There was the Verdi installation. That was the first time Girls on Cry was in, in doing yeah. stuff in like big and at a festival. Mm. Fire. Yeah. Fire. Because mm. he had the Camp Flogna hoodies and then it had the Verdi um, Vic logo on there holding yeah. The balloons. Yeah, you always got to take into account the extra couple hundred dollars you want to spend on everything else. Don't remind yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> He's being You're living that. life, dude. You're doing a great job. Um, I mean, I got some money, you know. I, I sold my Switch. <laughs> and then I got, <laughs> so some, I got some money for selling tickets for Rainbow Room. Um, shout out to them. Shout out to I don't guys. know why you haven't done an OnlyFans yet. Oh, for real. I don't know. Like, you're, you'll be very good at marketing it. Like, even those Just couple, like, 20 bucks every month, you know what I'm saying? You like, think they want to see a 6'2 Asian man that yeah. has a small wiener? Hell yeah. Robot penis. Robot penis. <laughs> can't. I <laughs> Robot penis. <say. laughs> Robot penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you got to think about, you know, like, uh, I don't even have a six-pack, bro. You don't need that. Girls really don't care. Uh, I don't think girls are paying for that. Yeah. For I a six-pack? Oh, they're, they're, no, they're paying for the beat. No. <laughs> they're, if they're paying no, no, for the beat, that's the same they're thing. Not, no, they're, <laughs> paying for any, they're not paying for any of that. I'm not oh. saying they're paying for the only fans. I think okay. it's more of the men's side that will be looking to you be. Guys are they want to see me fucking. You guys aren't thinking about a very <laughs> crucial demographic. Gay dudes. Oh. Yeah. I've been assaulted by gay dudes sometimes, though. I don't really think I want to <laughs> continue having that happen to me. You know? It's only business, man. <laughs> this is such a crazy topic <laughs> because I was, I was like watching JK News and then they were like... How far can we go? Oh, well, making fun of stuff. Well, not assaulted, but sexually assaulted. And then they're and then they talk <laughs> about it. They, and then they talk about it. they're like, dudes that get assaulted by females. How do you? How do we make fun of them without making fun of them? Bro, <laughs> this girl just slapped my ass. <laughs> okay. Then, but then we're like, and then we have to think about the other side. It's like, damn, that's fucked up. It is. <laughs> it, it was. Fu it's funny because I was at I was at Cheers Saturday night uh, with Eve. He came after the game. Mm. Oh, man. sad boy. Man. First the World we Series, were, we were, then, then the Utes. Bro, he's, oh, and then the yeah. Bucks. Yeah. He's, it's been Everything rough for him, bro. Weekend. Yeah, it's been cooked for it's him. Um, <laughs> but we're watching the end of the game of the Utes at Cheers. It was lively. They saw the sack happen. Whoa! They saw the flag open. No! And then they got the, on the field goal. Apparently, in the midst of all that happening, Ebe goes, somebody just grabbed the shit on my ass. <laughs> and I said, I... I don't know what to tell you, but like he felt like he felt 
Yeah. Some type of way because somebody just went behind and said, Oh. Yeah, that is <laughs> wild, though. You don't know what hand. Bro. You don't know what hand. So, like, I understand yeah. to a degree because, like, as a, as a dude, I would just fight the guy and beat him up, right? But as a girl, you can't really, you know? So I understand. But that's just, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, it doesn't feel right either way. Like, yeah. if you don't, especially if you don't know who touched your ass. <laughs> Dirty it's just like the, the rush hour scene. It's like, which one of y'all did that? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like that anymore. Uh, it's, di- it's different. Yeah. It's a little. The- I don't know. Don't even, you know, a lot of, we have this, <sighs> I have this conversation a lot with women because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm with women and some friends, right? All the time. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they continue to say like, you know, men are creepy, men are weird, men are this and the third. Yeah. And it's hard to like, I understand where they're coming from because pe- men are perverts and creepy and weird and don't know boundaries and don't have respect. Mm-hmm. But like for me, like I just don't get it because I don't do that. So it's just like when I see these, I'm a people watcher. I see guys be like, grab the waist, tie, you know, slide by, try to grab some ass, tie, you know. And it's just one of those things where like, do you not know, you don't know this person. Yeah. So why are you like, mm-hmm. maybe just tap on the shoulder, maybe a little pat, like, hey, can I squeeze by, mm-hmm. you know? But people just don't understand that because alcohol, crowded places, yeah. you're hot. I think I'm hot, I guess. Mm-hmm. But Sometimes really just, they're not. You're just really creepy yeah. at that point. So I don't, I don't understand it. And the girl's like, hey, we feel so safe. You're so nice, blah, 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 and respectable. But I'd be saying some crazy shit. <laughs> but. <laughs> well, it, it, it depends on like, uh, I guess like, if you have rapport with the person, then you can kind of say whatever you want in most cases. Like, if you have a really good rapport with well, the woman. No. Uh, no. I mean, this, is where pretty no. Pri- this is where pretty privilege comes into uh-huh. play. Yeah. For me. For you. Because I, <laughs> because it's beautiful. Because I meet, I meet a girl once and I'm saying wild shit. And then just like, oh, you're so stupid. You're so funny. Because I'm not doing anything crazy, but I'm saying <laughs> some wild shit. Like, I promise you, I'm saying some crazy shit. And they just laugh at me. So if you want to hear P say some crazy <laughs> shit, show up to R and Bounce Part Two on November 30th at Stop 9 p.m. See that. Ass bounce. Oh my god! <laughs> he was cooked last year too. It was rough. Yeah, oh, I but, remember you know, though. This time, this time around, I will stay longer to do video and pro- <laughs> photos because I did bring up my camera last year, but also mm-hmm. I was like, it was it was fresh. That was camera was still, fresh. Still yeah. not my setting for yeah. things. Kind of just we're figuring it out. Maybe I didn't really care about being in the public eye. Yeah, but now I just stand there. No, I just like take up space and, and just watch. watch people and take pictures of people. Make fun of people. I don't even do it. I don't <laughs> even make fun of people in <laughs> Not public. anymore? Dude, no, just like at those events. What I can't. But you're making fun of people with your head. Let's be real. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I said Not anymore. I, I've come to terms with myself. I'm a better person than I was last year. Wow. Oh, wow. How much Great. better? That's growth. A lot better. <laughs> a lot more, actually. I've grown a lot. In what ways would you say can be specific? Um, I don't talk shit. I, we're at a public place now. I'm just sitting there That's quiet. That's true. You actually... You really don't. You used to... I mean, me Before and you, I me would air it would, out. Me and you would like... The thing is, you would speak amongst each other. And yeah. you wouldn't do it like loudly and publicly. But yeah, I don't see you do that at all anymore, actually. Not even amongst each other. Like yeah, Now true. I'm just sitting there like... You know what? I'm going to take a step friends. back. Unless it's your friends. Even that. The only person I'm making fun of is Peter and Tommy. Wait. Ad? Mm, <laughs> Tommy. That's a, <laughs> but... Ad big... <laughs> No, I don't even make fun of him. Oh, really? No, I if Dookie? anyone, no, I don't make fun of Dookie. Okay. I don't make fun of Dalton. Like, I don't make fun of any of the homies anymore. I even gave Dalton a whole month and a half off from even joking with him. So that's what that's mm. where I've come to terms with myself. Like, you know what? I don't even say anything. He's been going to the gym. Yeah, Just, he's trying to get Why? a house. He's trying to have a ki- a key. A kid. Um, wow. Trying to buy a house in Japan. Oh, <laughs> cover up that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, do you think uh, that change came about? Uh, buying or like me myself. Yeah, yeah like, um, you know, not having to do that. For me, it's all it, what has been is that we've been around so many people mm-hmm. where <clears throat> like if that kind of slips up and I make it fun of the wrong people because they don't understand that humor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, OK, now what do I do? How that, do we how do we recover from this? Closed, that yeah. door is now closed with that person. So now I'm thinking about the consequences of what can happen. But then also because I'm thinking about those kind of consequences with them, I'm also thinking about the relationships we have amongst each other. With other people. Mm-hmm. 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 Like whether we've even been friends for over a decade, right. I'm starting to look at it and be like, well, you know what? I don't have to say that anymore. 
Don't have to. It's already mm. been said in That's done. beautiful. Like, I don't need to make fun of you anymore. No, I'm talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm talking I mean, shit. you guys don't even make fun of me like that. Like, we don't even make fun of you, yeah. but we say statements that hurt you a little. And you're yeah, like, like, your dog's fat. Okay. <laughs> but I'm but, but, now, but now he's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fucked up anymore because you're he older, announced yeah. it. <laughs> well, he was, but we put him on a strict diet. Oh, did you? He's I'm whining, being, huh? Oh, yeah. That motherfucker's he, whining, huh? He, I mean, he's a little... Th- even you my dad. Be, you guys be eating dinner and he... Oh, he we whined. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my dad was even... Uh, he picked him up yesterday and he was all like... You getting heavier? <laughs> I'm like, fool! You're the one giving him food all the time. It's, it's always your, the parents. Yeah, it's your mom and him, yeah. huh? For yeah. sure. My dad it's loves food, it. Like, yeah. My dad loves Come here, it. Arby, you gonna sit down like this? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I love it too. The like, kids won't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids don't do it anymore. They don't. Dude, it's true. My He's dad, the baby. my dad did that same thing when I was out in Vietnam. Yep. I came back, and my dogs were freaking thick. It doesn't take a lot. Thick. Yeah. Oh, those. Like, it takes a lot for those dogs because they're already big dogs. So for them to get thicker. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, shit. Because I went Bad. and got my hair cut a couple times when you were gone. I was like, you can't be doing that, uncle. You can't be doing that. They're just sitting there. He's smoking a cigarette. Yeah, he's he got his beer in his hand. Feeding the shit out of you know, shit out. You know, you always got chicken and brisket at the house for some reason. There's always some type of meat. Your mom's cooking. It's fucking boom. He's in the back there just chilling with them. That's, That's funny. crazy. So. Yeah. But yeah, make sure you guys tune into those events. Uh, well, the, the one on the phone will be posted. We'll probably do a little vlog style for P's birthday as well. Um, maybe do some questions. Maybe do some street questions in there. Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I, incorporate special announcement too. Actually, on top of that, I will probably have a set for about an hour and a half, maybe an hour. We'll see how it looks. You know, I'm a little shy, Steve. In real life, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this expectation now. It, just imagine me on Ox. Okay, that's all it is. I might mix a little here and there, filter in, filter out, you know, put a little beat here. Stop maybe, watering it down. Maybe beep 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 beep. You know, <laughs> type beat. So, but don't expect much from me. But if you do like the songs, you like the song selection, then great. Please tell me because I'll, I'll be working on that. He'll be, first of all, he'll be doing the first one at the live podcast. Oh, I, will be, I will be DSR. So he's doing an hour and a half there mm-hmm. in practice for his birthday. <laughs> but also we'll have Elliot Tacky there and then Spaz, Spaz. on our Unbalanced Day, November 30th. So yeah. just want to make sure we get so that across crazy. because we won't have an episode that comes out that week. We will, but we it'll will. be like Thanksgiving it'll and stuff. So, after, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it'll be next week's guest that we have coming on. Mm-hmm. We'll be coming out that week. So mm-hmm. just want to make these announcements before we go into the episode. Episode 121. I'm happy to be here with you guys. This is It's been a while since we've got to sit with each other and yeah. actually be able to have a conversation and really talk amongst each other because people actually think that we have a lot of conversations outside of this. And, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's nah. really now it's boiled down to the point where we don't really talk much outside of the podcast unless we're seeing each other. In person, a couple now. years ago we would, but not not as of lately. Yeah, yeah. Even like last year when we were doing the podcast, we still saw each other more. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because we were doing events mm-hmm. and it, it was just busy, and we were trying to you know keep things going. So we saw each other a lot more. But once again, you guys are in the process of getting a new home. You also just moved in with you got married. Moved I mean, lady. yeah, it's been yeah. a year now. But yeah, I'm yeah. saying, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Then, And then me on the other hand, yeah, I'm just outside. So I mean, <laughs> he's outside. He's in the streets. <laughs> we're all grinding too, and life is just gets. Busier and busier, you know, life keeps going, especially like with everything just keeps on getting crazier and crazier. So, I mean, we're just trying to live our lives and like, at least spend time with the people we care about more and more. And the older we get, but bam, because we're getting up there. Damn, you're ancient. Not yet. I'm still young at heart, dude. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's say I'm 40. I, I still feel like I'm going to be looking pretty young. Well, you're not young at heart, though. I am young at I heart. think you're more of an old soul, if anything. Yeah, on God. You're, you you like I? to stay home, make dinner with your wife, watch a movie, jazz hang out music, your dog. Like, music, you're, like you're cap. Movies, like, you're cap. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I like playing video games and this other, but you're not. But you don't even play video games anymore. <laughs> I do play video games. You're, no, you're, you're capped out now in life. You're old. No, you hit Wukong the old soul. Is sick. <laughs> yeah, and then okay, that's true. all you. Be doing I'm not though. trying to fight you guys on that because you guys are making very valid. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't, all of us, it, like, like, out of all of us, <laughs> maybe you and Matt are the old souls. Yeah, Matt's like done on his oh. bike. Like he's just trying to be at home cooking. He for needs his to dogs. do tasks, bro. He needs to do something that's going to benefit him yeah. or help him move forward in his life. <laughs> it used to not be like that. Yeah, but it was like that. It would just you just smoke. You know. Yeah, we'll just. How about <laughs> how about we ask questions to each other? What do you guys now see? You guys goals as the podcast has grown to where it's been to where it's at where do you see yourself now as an individual since the podcast has started to where we are now and then what are your future goals with the podcast Hmm. then we can just ask matt what are your goals in life (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, <laughs> my goals for the podcast? Uh, I'm just going to sit here and look No, yeah, I was going to say. Matt is the now, now that we're shooting at the warehouse, he's been the IT technical support. Actually, he's just been sitting in the back working, <laughs> chilling. That's been chilling. Yeah, drinking water. Yeah, water. Water. Right, uh, when well, we first started, bro, damn. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of, of I was I was down bad, I feel like. In my we, life. We did get when you, you first started. Yeah. We did get you in a moment when you were down bad. Yeah, I, I was think, I was down pretty bad, I don't yeah. lie. Just relationship stuff, women, blah blah, mm, you know. Yeah. Trying to yeah. figure things out as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, I think well, that was I'm, the big conversation you and I had. Yeah, I just didn't know what I wanted mm. to do at all in mm, my life. I remember that. And obviously, like this route was the podcast was like a an open door for us to express ourselves. Mm-hmm. And I think I I I don't I wouldn't say I struggle with expressing myself because I'm pretty fucking good at that. But it may come off the wrong way. But I think with people that actually care, you know. So mm-hmm. that also has mm-hmm. taught me how to be patient with other people and grow as an individual. I find myself caught in conversation a lot of the times now, even with it just being banter or just bullshit. Or but I just see myself doing that with people. Like I said, I just be asking crazy shit, wild shit to people, mm-hmm. women, like. You know, tell me about your childhood trauma. <laughs> that's in the, the middle, point, really that's pops off midnight yeah. at the club. He's like, "You want a trauma dump? I'm he's, here for you. He's Here's said, a shoulder." I'll listen. The Sometimes people are really open to that. Stuff, no, and though, when yeah. you when no, you yeah. have the ability to make people feel that kind of openness, especially in public, <laughs> you've kind of unlocked like a new level of comfortability around different people. Yeah, I try, and it's funny because once again, I'm very respectful mm-hmm. in the day, and I I make jokes. I'm a, I'm a button a button pusher. I'm a dickhead, is what I like to claim. Some people would say otherwise, but like. I see myself as the friendly guy that will be blunt with you mm-hmm. and also be rude if I need to be rude. But I think there's a certain respect that gets demanded from me. That's why it's like people don't really question or, or, or try to press me or have issues with me mm-hmm. because they just don't think mm. it will resolve anything. Mm-hmm. But other than that, life has been great so far. I had more opportunities than I ever had before. Fashion shows, working with brands, photographers hitting me. Uh, people want me to help out with events, sell tickets. Like, it's it's been good. I've been meeting a lot of people, um, and this podcast is one of the reasons why I've been able to do so. But I was like I said, I was I was down bad when we first started this. I was sad hmm. boy. I forget about that honestly yeah, because boy. I knew about it, of course. But I it's been <laughs> so much. We started happened. in April, right? Yeah, a year and a half ago, oh, almost dang. two years. Almost two years, right? Almost two yeah, years. When you jumped on, it was months. about April. Six, yeah, so months. April. Yeah, I, I'm in and out of a relationship at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it was over mm-hmm. in June. So, yeah, it was, it was a little sticky. Uh, <laughs> sticky. But it's good. I think, I think it happened for a reason. I, may, I, I did my wrongs, and, you know, she didn't do anything necessarily wrong, but I just wasn't ready for it. And that's something I had to do because if I prolong that, relationship it could have been way worse Mm -hmm. and so with that me being able to let go of that unfortunately i didn't want to but that's some things have to be done i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing now which is because i can't have restrictions of a partner seeing what i'm doing and you know thinking what i'm doing is wrong and i Mm. I just couldn't have that on me yeah so now feel it yeah no yeah growth comes when it's like growth comes when it's always like the hardest and the darkest things yeah so that's good Happy for you, man. You've come a long way. Is it my turn now? <laughs> Why are you guys laughing at me, man? Because we can always count on you to make sure that you make someone feel better. Well, no, because, you know, I... No, I, like... I, I, no, I felt... You know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah, finish, yeah, yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. No, but, because I like to... I'm very empathetic. I hate it. I hate that shit. One time, it's a little funny story. When I was a kid, I was like seven or eight years old. Mm. I saw this guy um, drinking out of a Sam's Club cl- like cup. He was eating alone. And he was drinking out of the cup with no lid on it, and it made me fucking sad for some reason. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't like, terrible I was empathy, like, but like, damn, bro. No, like, that was fucking. It was. It was. A, I think about it still to this day. I was like, man, I really felt true sadness in that like, moment. Like, why? <laughs> he, he was eating alone. He was like, he doesn't have a straw, or he doesn't have a lid on his cup. <laughs> oh my god! And I, I think about straw. that shit. The and straw I was did like, it for him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no straw. With the lid, just drinking that shit. He probably was just a manly ass man because well, I, yeah. I eat alone. He, especially probably when I was single. he probably was working. He just needed a quick he's lunch. He's chilling, yeah. yeah. But I was like, <laughs> he's, he's like, you already like, created a whole scene for him. <laughs> I just imagine Moose like with a straw and just like deep throwing the straw. Like <laughs> this is what oh, I was eight years old, seven years old. Not, man. Not, oh, really? No, now yeah. as an adult, oh as God. an adult, 
funny as hell. That's all zesty. <laughs> a little zesty, my guys, you know? So why is your tongue out like that? <laughs> so stupid. Stop it. But no, I feel, no, I get it, Moose. Like, uh-huh. you, that was, yeah. Moose has always been the person to make a narrative about little of anything, but nothing, with emotion, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me, I'd be like, uh, he sucks, whatever. Yeah. Like, that's me as a kid. Oh, God, yeah, I'm like, like oh, you <laughs> like, bullying adults for yeah. no reason. Oh, but God. Moose is like, oh, man. God. No straw? <laughs> and no lid? Let me grab no me lid. one. Let me grab me one. And he moves because of the straw. He just throws it away. Uh, and Moose is like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. This. It's like, you asshole the whole time. <laughs> no, uh, for me, um, I guess it's been a, it's, it, it's hard for me to, I, the whole time he was talking, I was like, how do I uh, explain Your wedding what anniversary was just recently too, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It yeah. was. Um, which we, we had like, you know, the vacation and then we ha- had the day. Um, which was really nice, but I want to do something a little bit more special, special like this weekend. Okay, like maybe like get like a cabin or something, just something Ooh. just like the two of us. Uh, sexy. Because uh, we sexy. Because we like we uh, we had like our normal ca- California like uh, vacation, but I want something a little bit more romantic. And plus, mm. Maddie plans everything. Like, so you and, plan this. Yeah, so I want to do a little bit more for her, especially with all the dates. And so she's really good at being like, "Hey, I got us like." Hamilton tickets. I got us like these tickets, or we there's this event. Did you see like, a Harry Potter symphony? No, we didn't. Dude, we're not like crazy. We're, Harry I Potter. heard that I'm shit was lit. His because we were planning this shit for like oh, five I heard weeks. That shit was lit. What happened? What yeah. happened is that we Booked decided to buy tickets week of. Yeah, and then all the that. tickets were sold out. Yeah. Oh, but so we should have bought it yeah, five weeks could, ago when they got back from Vietnam because yeah, we're talking about doing yeah. stuff. You know what? We'll do it next year. It's fine. I heard that Harry Potter symphony was lit. Yeah, I want. I was like, you were watching. They were watching here, bro. I can only imagine. I'm a and new Harry Potter fan, plan. but that shit looked awesome. Now I have to go listen to the I symphony see. while <laughs> watching the movie by myself with my headphones on. So I can just watch the normal movie. <laughs> you have your <laughs> track like by this. track. Yeah. You haven't watched it all? She's watched them like in bits and pieces. God damn there well, was, You got to go through it. There was literally a moment in time where she saw me walk. She would walk upstairs when uh, she's working from home. Yeah. She's like, what are you watching again? I'm like, I'm watching the fourth Harry Potter. And But then, then she'll come up again and she's like, what are you watching now? I was like, well, I'm watching the first one now. Because <laughs> I'm re-watching all of them. So by the time she gets back to me, she's like sitting there eating, watching it. She goes, what I don't remember this yeah, part. Like, what the fuck is this? But then also, we just watched The Conjuring 2, and she was still doing jump scares. Like, oh my God, oh, I didn't remember that part. Yeah. Oh and then my Matt God. was watching. Matt Dude, watched it for the first was, time. How was your experience? That shit was, that shit was scary. <laughs> Just it, good. it was good. It was good. good. Because no, I this is the this is the problem with like watching movies at Matt's house because of that surround sound. It fucks you up. It really just we need to have a movie. Night. It really gets you in the mood. And then we're sitting there and like Amy's like squeezing my arm. I fell asleep. Good uh, well, through all of it, I still fell asleep. And I was like, <sighs> she goes, oh. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> God, Dude, I was jumping out of my seat. <laughs> and then we have this book Peter, Peter and Anne there. And Anne, so Anne watched the first one at her house during the Halloween party. So we oh, had pizza night, a scary pizza one. night. And then yeah. she was sitting there and it wasn't as scary to her because there's so much going on. Yeah. You have drunk Peter with freaking skeleton boner <laughs> yeah, going on. Yeah, it's not on. a dark room and it's not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, but so she was like, you know what? That movie was actually wasn't that scary. Mm-hmm. And then she watched it and now it's pitch dark. There's nothing going on and we're just focused on the movie. And she's Best. like, that was actually Dude, really scary. Fucking all the, the blankets like this. I was like, oh, yep. fuck. Oh, oh shit. Wait, have you seen the first two Harry Potters? Like all the way through? Uh, she, no, she's seen them, but it's like, once again, it's all bits, bits and pieces. pieces because awesome. it, it all rolls over mm-hmm. into one movie for her now. Because <laughs> I say once you have the first movie. two out of the way, like you just do in sequence three, four, five, and six, and then the last well, movie. Because those are... <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be done. I know, but like... <laughs> it's like not you, Star Wars. You, but start <laughs> on, you start on the third one on the movie marathon, right? Like you do the movie marathon because Maddie and I did it. It's just like... It's, it, it gets really good from those movies and then just move on. Because I love those movies. I can rewatch all of them. Me too. But yeah, yeah, how do you feel? How, um, yes. Uh, how, yeah, how, from then and now, yeah. So uh, <laughs> from then and now, um, it's been a lot of internalized thoughts, I guess, because especially with like fashion, right? Because I was doing yep. graphic design um, with, for More About Nothing. Um, and then a lot of people don't know I've stepped away from doing design for more about nothing. For he quit on us. Yeah, I quit. <laughs> if you guys, I did. You guys want to ask? I stepped away. I stepped away. Every time I'm right here, but I'm no, here all the time. You have to try to explain this to people every time we are at an event. Oh, I and know. Then, no, you're not there. And Boo Boo's not there. And P's not there. And then we're sitting there. It's just Amy and I. And then people are like, "Where's Moose? Where's Where's Boo Boo?" And I'm like, "Well." Everyone knows boo-boo situation. Yeah. So now, now no one asks anymore. But I'm there was working. a, and then P's always working, and then every because everyone's there as a team. Yeah. And yeah. then when I'm every like, time, yeah. they're like, "What about Moose?" I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. "You don't say anything, bro." Well, mm. no, I'm just like, 
I'm just like, he's being fruity somewhere. <laughs> and then I, I no, always wonder what he's saying. Somewhere else. No, but no, really. I was like, oh, Moose is just doing his thing. No, okay. I like, uh, and then up until recently, so Omar asked me. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, you want me to be honest? Because he, he's like, you've been different lately. I'm like, you want me to be honest? It's because I don't care about doing this anymore. Mm, I don't care mm, about the calling yeah. brand. I don't care about doing the podcast. I, don't, I really don't care mm. about doing any of this anymore because to me now, it's like I feel like I've outgrown this ready? Where this is mm. at. We yeah, want the yeah. clothing stuff. Like, I don't really care about designing clothing or doing all this stuff or, like, mm -hmm. collaborating with people because mm -hmm. I, just don't, I just don't feel, like, where I'm at mentally with this, all this stuff, it's not in a place for me to be at in Utah. Mm -hmm. Now I get why people are saying, you need to move to this place. You need to do this there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now this shell that I'm out in, in Utah is I'm outgrowing it. Oh, yeah. As, and that's my own personal experience. Like, yeah, yeah. all these fashion brands out here in Utah, killing it. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like I can't be on that level because once again we are we were at this last sneaker convention. Yep, and felt the same way. You you but you look at everyone, and it's the same people buying the same clothes from the same brands. Yeah, yeah. How are we growing as a community then if it's just being recycled? Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Your cousin shows up. Destiny shows up. Yeah. So I think on Nimbus video. Shout out to Anthony. Yeah, and and it's like. But it's the same people that come to our booths and buy our stuff. Yeah, and yeah. So it's it's nice. It's a nice feeling once again that people do buy our stuff and thank you guys for the support. But it's also like, is this it? Mm -hmm. And you've had I, that I, feeling. I've, I've, yeah, very. You explained it perfectly. I mean, I think it was kind of trying to fall in love with fashion in a new way because I think we've grown a lot, right? Yeah. And then our tastes have changed. And then also, it's like it takes a lot of things to get like products made, right? And then I was to a point I was like, we just keep on like selling the clothes and I think it's really cool what we do, but I'm not in love with what we're selling. Um, and I want to create products, yes. But then at the same time, I look at all the other fashion TikTok, um, fashion Instagram, and then there's always products being pushed out everywhere. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was just trying to find, because I still love doing designs and still I still am doing so, but it's like the the urge to make products is not, it's not there for me right now. And I really, from the last few months, especially since I've had the talk with Amy and Tay about stepping away and not, or quitting. Um, He's like, I, I quit. I, I always knew I still he took wanted. took off his hoodie, <laughs> threw it on the floor. He's like, <laughs> like, fuck this shit. <laughs> like, I still love doing the, the work. So I want to just kind of get back in love with doing the process. Um, and while doing so, it's just kind of really brought to light, because you guys know I want to do film and I want to make short films and I want to be involved in that space. Um, I really just kind of want to learn how the process of writing things out and really fully, like, that's why I've been journaling so much, really fully kind of thinking about my ideas and nurturing them. Um, and I just, like, a part of me was battling myself, like, early this year. It's like, I'm 29, like, imagine I'm 40 years old and I still, I'm not doing what I love, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and that started to scare me a little bit. Um, so I kind of wanted to not be so afraid of feeling like I should be somewhere when I'm, when I should be in love with what I'm doing now because I am surrounded by good people. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done great things with great people, um, but I want to really kind of let myself know it's like my ideas are good. Let's nurture these ideas until we can kind of create them and make them. Maybe if it's not in products, maybe it's like artwork that people can kind of still enjoy and be entertained or in, entertained by. So. Yeah, it's just really kind of just like getting back in the journal, writing out the ideas, and then, well, you know, kind of push myself to really make them come alive. Because especially with all the movies that have come out, I think about like Matt Reeves, the guy that does the, the Batman movies. I was like, this guy was like probably, what, 40 years old mm -hmm. when he kind of started to get his big break. So I mean, that's a lot of people that we look up to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. didn't start, they didn't start getting pop until they were 40. Late thirties, exactly. Yeah, you yeah, talk yeah. about well, Elon Musk, like all these people that Pharrell, they, fucking, you know, they all start yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. Not everyone can be a Tyler creator. No, exactly. Not I everyone, mean, even then, bro, or, Tyler. Could, I mean, it, it just, it just. He took, I, but he took the I know, industry but I'm, by storm. But I'm saying though, like it just, um, timing is everything. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he just found the perfect time for it. It was because yeah. he was doing yeah. that shit for a couple of years before yeah. it really like it picked up, and, and then. It, he doesn't show what happened behind the scenes. Like, yeah. obviously, we just recently saw him send in that email that he sent yeah. in, like, 2008, right? When he yep. was trying yeah. to find labels to sign his sign him and his people. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. like, there's just a, bo a bunch of grunt work that needs to be done that's not ever shown. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like that interview they were doing. They did a long time ago when it's him, like, or everyone else in that, in that room. And yeah. he's like, 
dude, I, we got famous off our first draft. First drafts, yeah. And I'm that. sitting there like, damn, you know, imagine that. bullshitting, like, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we we scrap all of our first drafts. Imagine if we just went oh, yeah. with a lot of those ideas. And just put them out. Yeah. Yeah, so I think um, it was really just kind of falling in love with what I'm doing again. And yeah. I feel like I have more confidence in myself to do so. And I think uh, you guys giving me the space to kind of have space away to, like, do my own thing, I think it's been really healthy for me. Um, so, yeah, it's been a lot of introvert, um, introverted activities, but uh, I think, uh, yeah, with all the experience that we've, or not experience, but influence that we've got from, like, um, all our other guests and stuff, it's really cool to see their their experience and their yeah. ideas and their growth because I feel like, you know, as Utah, we're still very, like, infant stage. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just, yeah, I just, uh, I want I really just want to push myself to be an artist yeah. instead of, like, just putting yourself products. in a box. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. You just want to create, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Build yeah. worlds. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, watch Build the Pharrell worlds. movie. Watch the Lego movie. Okay? I know, it's and been on my list. list. I need you to create an animated series. I, I did. I honestly, I still have an idea from like way back in high I school. Think, I, think yeah. you should, I think you would be able to do that. Oh, I would, but getting that off the ground is so hard. It doesn't even have matter about you getting off the ground. It just matters about just you, you doing it, it out and then yeah, figuring it out right. from there. Really, the idea is there, but yeah, you guys are right. It really and is. Once again, that. I understand you're a perfectionist, but like, mm-hmm. just do it. Yeah, like, getting away from that too. It's like, like hell yeah. it's like I can think of you being like the people that created South Park. They voice literally every single fucking character in that show. It's literally three of them, four of them, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you just create an anime series where you you just create these characters that you have came up with and you voice. It's up here, dog. Yeah, I know. Here, I know yeah, you yeah. have it, uh-huh. but you're. Just, I don't know what to say that you're scared, but I just feel like you just don't. Uh, I guess I just don't know how to approach it yet. Yeah. But then I totally, uh, I, I literally have the, uh, like, these ideas that are, like, I, I still want to do this. Yeah. Um, but it's, like, really the jump off point. Yeah. And then uh, the execution. Also, I have the, no idea. the technicalities of things. Technicalities, like how to make too. the characters and move them and, yeah. Yeah, so. like, for example, like, uh, Zach Fox, right? He had, I like, a little short anime film, but he had so many people help him out with it. Um, like Childish Gambino, a bunch of animators. His character like, development, I need to, yeah. I need to study, because he it was crazy. comedian, rapper to, <laughs> to like star DJ. DJ. Yeah. yeah, like what the fuck? He's an inspiration for sure. Yeah. And it's like, and he just got just married too. Out. Yeah, he just barely got married yeah, over yeah. the weekend. Yeah. Um, and then also, yeah, I'd like to cut my time on this question. It's just like I want to do something for Maddie and I too, because she really wants to create something with me. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've oh, been baby. like throwing ideas, and we really want I. And it's more on me too, because she's like she's ready to go. But I'm I really want to like give something for us to create together yeah. too. Oh, that'd yeah. be nice. As you should though, because that's where Amy and I have like been just sitting together and really thinking about how we want to go about the podcast, how we mm-hmm. want to go about the brand. Because like once again, you can see it on my face. I don't really want to be at this event. You know, we just did it because we oh, were like, the sneaker? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like we go yeah. to this event and it's the same thing for us. And we're just like, fuck, dude. Like, I always feel shitty after every event. Mm-hmm. We miss Boo Boo. I'll tell you what. That's, we really do. We the def- man on the at, floor. Like, we yeah. definitely mm-hmm. miss Boo Boo at the events. Like, yeah. That's just one because thing. I, and yeah. I'll admit, like. I'd rather be focused on the camera. That's where yeah. I like being exactly. behind now. Like, I, yeah. I'm looking into buying a new camera. I'm trying to buy the FX3, which is fucking like 3500 <laughs> And I'm over here sitting here like, is that even like a purchase worth me making? But then I'm also like thinking about like, I really just like editing. I really like sitting here behind the camera for real and like, like trying to that? capture shit. Yeah. And mm. that's why like with the podcast is making me fall in love with that kind of stuff. Because I remember yeah. in 2016, I told Amy I wanted the camera. I was like, yeah, I'm ready. I want to take pictures. I want to do vlogs. I want to do other stuff. And I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> then I, then, but then I'm also like trying to figure out like, how can I get other people to do it on camera? And I'll be the guy behind the camera still. Yeah. yeah. Like, once again, going back to Tommy, that fool would have... All these people that were doing fucking comedy shit on YouTube, Tommy could have been that guy. Oh, yeah. He, he really could have. Yeah. I wrote all his skits. All he had to do was sit there and perform, and then that's it. But he had anxiety performing. Mm-hmm. But then also editing the videos, like putting all this stuff together. We made him get a green suit. We, <laughs> put, him, we put him on fire. Like, he was doing all this shit. It was kind of... It was really funny. He was, it was during the Kawhi laugh. Like, he was just doing that shit all the time. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boos oh even did God. a part. He was part of the skit for a little. I That's remember funny. that. You just pulled up yeah. for it. You were just like, what's going on? I was like, as long as he doesn't put on that green suit again. Yeah, fucking that was a, disturbing. Disgusting. I felt like we got assaulted that day. <laughs> <We really laughs> did. With our eyes. Yeah. But, you know, with the podcast, I like from the beginning, I was like, man, this is just going to be something that's going to take off all our clothing. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Pause, but. <laughs> Take off the clothing brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by yeah. that? Yeah. But Freaky then also, hours. yeah. And then it was supposed to take off the brand. Because when I, when I tell people why we started this, 
And I look at it now, I'm like, damn, it's nowhere even near where we wanted it at the beginning. Yeah. You know, and then, but also... Things change. Take, we take yeah. away that, the negative thoughts from it. I'm like, well, the podcast has grown to something much more... Yeah. Like, more knowledgeable to us yeah. and then to the people that are viewing it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And give them... Well, now we're giving them reason to tune in and then also sharing stories. Because the one thing we hear every weekend... It's like we love that you guys are. Do, what are we? What are, we love what you guys are doing. We love that you guys are sharing voices of the people that need to be heard. Yeah. And then I sit there. I'm like, but did you watch the episode? And then I have that negative thought still. Oh, ah. Yeah, okay. It's think, like, yeah. but really, did you, or did you just see it on Instagram and that's how you're? But sometimes, yeah. sometimes that has to be enough. Yeah, and you know, yeah. and right. that's yeah. why, like, to me <clears throat> now, I have this thought process in my head, like even being around the homies and all the friends and family, like, just don't say anything anymore. I just live in my own thoughts because mm-hmm. with the, now the negative thoughts being spoken into existence, now people are going to look at it and be like, oh, mm. you know, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe this isn't like the people we think they are. They're going to attach that to what? Yeah. They they're going to attach that negative, one negative connotation to me and be like, oh, does he, so is he, does he really like being around us or is he just making all this stuff up? But we have that same mm. issue with people that we've worked with as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it's... It's you a, know, it happens, and that's. <clears throat> but I'm also, like I said, once again, I'm growing from this. I I love that we're doing the podcast, and I love that I want to pick up another camera and go do short film. Yeah, go, yeah. and that's what. Give me your diaries. <laughs> he really wants my journal. Give me man. your journal. I'm calling it a diary. I need to get into this diary, read one page, and be like, you know, we can I'll turn this it. into a short film. Uh, I'll practice. I mean, I, I swear to God, I will practice and want, and know how to do this shit. I swear to God. I mean, let's say this when. Uh, I, I would I would love to just kind of share my ideas, I guess. but, but, uh, the pages but then also like, it's tick. like <laughs> like can, if if I had the permission to be a little transparent too because we've shared a lot of ideas amongst us as a group, right? Yeah. I and then the thing that was hard for me, especially with more about nothing, is that I have an idea, put it out, do the work. They don't like it. It doesn't get it doesn't it doesn't get put out. Yeah, yeah. I want to have some ownership in what gets put out. You, you have all I mean? ownership on yeah. this. Yeah. I just want to film it. I want exactly. to be, be a part of that short so, film that you, that you so, came up with. Whatever. Oh, yeah, you honestly, are Christopher Nolan. You, right? you are directing this whole thing. I just yeah. want to be the guy behind the camera that puts it together. And, just, and if we have that understanding, yeah, but we haven't really talked about it. But then, of course, if you let me have creative control as a director, writer. No, he just, you know? yeah, yeah. You're, just you got there. that. I just yeah, need, we haven't <laughs> talked about it. I just need to have the idea there so I have a reason to shoot. That short film where you have the back-to-back, I would love to do that. Oh, I would. Lo- we d- we got to find the female though. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I ha- I almost. I even probably even what, have it the, could just the be shoot P- locations too. P- 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 all the way, uh-huh. and then with a wig, and then at the end of <laughs> it, it does a reveal, and it's just him side by side. <laughs> it's like the wig, half of the wig right here. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. But P is also he got the neck tattoos and stuff too. The characters that I'm thinking about are a little bit uh, more uh, clean, oh, clean, oh, clean. Uh, a little a little more. See, innocent, I, I, I thought you know? of a more like to, to to what you've told me. I'm not trying mm-hmm. to. Sp- Air out what no, your idea was, no, but like, fine. you know, maybe maybe a couple of rings. I'm in a wife beater. I just woke up. You know how you yeah. had that whole, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And yeah. then she's smoking a cigarette, and it's because how's that like, clean? How's that clean? No, because it's like, uh, like let's say for me, for example, right? Okay. I'm a fairly clean guy yeah, for yeah. the most part, but then I like a smoke a joint. You know, that's part of the characters. <laughs> that's is all like they for. enjoy <laughs> kind of <laughs> every week. Know? He's like, you got weed? <laughs> like, no, yeah, no, 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 I don't have weed. But it's like, it's like these things that they just kind of like to enjoy, but then their personalities like I'm in. Inspired by like uh, you know, Five Hundred Days of Summer is a big one. Yeah. When Harry Met Sally is a big one. Yeah. Sleepless or sorry, while you're sleeping, like those kind of like '90s romance movies, okay. right? Yeah. I so guess and like saying. kind of to like kind of have that vibe. You're a little. You're very sexy bad boy. Like it's a little different. Like. Can you write him a sexy bad boy? It's not gonna be as cutesy, then? you know. <laughs> What? what what do you mean? It's not gonna be as cutesy. The 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 video of the idea is to uh to like. Tethered lovers. That's like the no, point I, of the and I understand that. Yeah. You don't think I could be a tethered lover? <laughs> no, 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 you could be a tethered I, lover, but not, not the person scene. that's in it. <laughs> yeah, like the like the characters in the movie are like. Are, but are, she's cute. Scene. I'm a little. We'll rugged. figure it out. We'll, yeah. Maybe we could find a compromise. But this is all just in my brain. Okay? <laughs> I know, I know. It's all in his journal. <laughs> it's all, it's all it in actually journal. is in my journal, and also a story. But I haven't me. left that. Like when you gave that idea, I was like, I haven't. Like I think about it almost every week. I'm not gonna lie to you. Really? No, I'm trying to start this movie. Feel real good. No, I think about movie. like how it could be played out. That's uh-huh. what I'm saying. And I'm thinking oh, yeah. of like the characters that are being played. Because <laughs> you said it's split down the screen, right? 
In the beginning, yeah, it's it's it switches off. But you're gonna be switching off. But yeah. like at first, it's split on the screen. Mm -hmm. They're doing essentially the same thing every, like in the morning. Yeah, but they're both. The it routines. shows their routine. It shows similarities yeah. in routine. Yeah, yeah. You give them away too much. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but dude, and then you have music playing, and there's not no words being spoken, uh, and then no somehow words. the end scene's fucking amazing. I still haven't landed the ending. I hear, I hear you. Okay. Shot by shot, I have not fucking landed the ending. I shot. have the ending. <laughs> No Talk outline. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Put <laughs> together. <laughs> and in the shape of a heart. They're both dead. <laughs> they're both dead. No, no. They just end up in the same place at the end of it. And we think it's a we think it's their chalk outline, but it's them running into each other at the same scene of the crime. Mm. Well, no, that's like the whole point of like the last two minutes is like you finally get the point where they actually meet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We'll save it. Yeah. <laughs> I promise. We'll come back to I that. I promise I'll work hard on this. There's also the, at the execution of that, it's like, how am I going to get to shoot this? I have locations in my mind. Oh. Like, but it's like, what's the time? Like, we got to get everything right. So we're nailing it. But I feel very passionate. Thank you for reassuring me on that, too. That's tight. I he think thinks about it every idea. week. Yeah. It's like a 20 he's, minute film will be good. Yeah. He's sitting there on It's like a seven games. minute he's like, like, song. That, I was saying, yeah, if that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. It's like, it's. It's the idea of like. Wait, uh, how long is the song? It's seven, seven minutes. minutes. Yeah, we're doing seven minutes. Yeah. Okay, seven fine. minutes. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. fast. Can, but yeah. No, it's really easy when I you cut because when you cut Drink things. Drinking coffee, smoking mm -hmm. a cigarette. Because like, how, really, how long is each scene? Because I'm re I'm like literally watching all these people that are doing like you know scenic stuff on YouTube. So right now, what's in right now on YouTube is you. It's a vlog style description videos. Okay. It's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. So like before, it'd be like people vlogging and be like. Oh yeah, you need to do this, or like you know, uh -huh. Casey Neistat, yeah, being yeah, in New yeah, York yeah. to skateboarding, but he's talking to the camera. Okay. But now people are taking that format, reinventing it, and doing description videos while being in different locations now. Mm. So it's like, like hey, Adrian I'm doing, yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. so I'm trying to okay, let's talk about this mic, and then mm, you're in New York now, mm -hmm. and then oh, different scene and different scene cut, but it's like almost like a vlog. Oh, but you're talking about the mm. mic, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. Scenarios. yeah. Okay. So now that's really in. And that's what I'm starting to notice. Like, and then all, also right now is zero dialogue vlogs as well. It's just literally just people, captions. It's like, here at this cute cafe in Japan. Really? And that's I feel it. like that's always been a thing though. But now it's just so big. Uh -huh. Like all this stuff has been here. That when, mm -hmm. as, as we were growing up in the YouTube era, it's been there. I, uh, yeah, I remember no word, di no but, dialogue vlogs all the but time. But it's so big right now because people, there is, so there is, like, there is like a study on it. 30% of people watching YouTube don't even want to listen to people on YouTube. They would rather just watch what they're doing. Mm. And that's why now you go on YouTube and there's a lot more of those, like those camping videos, those ASMR oh, yeah, yeah, camping yeah. videos. Yeah. Those are huge. Yeah. You know, every damn Korean just person is doing it now. <laughs> yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. they be getting down when they're camping. Or like um, how the outdoor boys, the guy in Alaska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he just, he's killing he, it. He's just sitting there talking. That's it. He's not even, and then sometimes it'll just be him just digging up snow for like 10 seconds. Or freaking making the beans on right on the freaking coals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. But did you have, uh, did you go through yours already? Kind of your mm, kind of kind of when I yeah. talked about the change, or like at the beginning, yeah, kind of, when yeah. uh, where I am as a person because of how the podcast is. Yeah, yeah. This podcast has helped mold me into a better person, if anything, because mm -hmm. of the way I think. Also, there are, like I said, there's a lot of negative thoughts, of course, but that happens. Yeah, yeah. when you're trying to create success in something that you love so much. Yeah. Yeah. right. Whether it is more about nothing, whether it is when midnight strikes, whether it is this, there are so many things in avenues that we're in right now that people expect a lot from us though mm -hmm. and is trying to live up to, to those expectations you know what i mean like we go in public we i i bring my camera to places and people now just expect me to take pictures at their events or just vlog their events or have these expectations now and then I, mm -hmm. now sometimes i want like damn do i want to bring my camera to this event mm -hmm. yeah but i really want to yeah. Then I think about it, I'm like, you know what? And I've lately I've leaned, I'm starting to leave my camera at home a lot more. Yeah. Before it was always in the car, ready to go. Now I don't feel that pressure. And then when I want to do an event, like how we're at the Taylor Morgan, like the Morgan Jeweler event, yeah. I wanted to shoot at that event yeah. because I knew it was fun. I knew nobody was gonna say anything to me. I just wanted to be there. P showed up and it created a different atmosphere for when we were there. Because it was just me just like vlogging it and just yeah. doing this. But then we needed a personality because I'm not really that good of a personality <laughs> in front of the camera. I'm not going to yeah. sit there and ask you questions. I can do it. But also it's like <clears throat> I feel like when P's doing it, he has this openness to him that people are like, okay, yeah, I want to talk to you real quick. Yeah. Come on real quick, Shardy. <laughs> it was primarily men, but yes. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. It was. But, uh, but then it's also like when now like the holidays are coming up and I'm starting to think about like, 
what am I going to do in December when we do take our little break? Right. What am mm -hmm. I, what are my goals this, this winter as far as be, becoming a content creator or what I want to do with the brand or because we talked about taking a break for in, until next summer mm -hmm. with more about nothing. Mm -hmm. And then, because I know at the end of the day, Amy, Amy still loves the brand. She yeah. wants, she really thinks this brand has something. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling her, it's like, no, I don't really want to do this. I don't care for this brand anymore. Yeah. She really loves it. She really wants this to be something that, and now she feels like she has a little more control now that everyone has kind of stepped down. She has more say of what of she wants to do and how, how things come about. Mm -hmm. And then so when we're sitting there thinking about it, I'm like, okay, then we still keep worrying about nothing. Do we still keep the podcast going? And we have those thoughts in our head. I'm like, mm, we'll see how I feel next year. I still want, I'll still do this until the end of next year. And then if we don't reach goals that we need to be at, then we find new goals. Mm -hmm. We find new places that we it's, need to be in. It's okay with yeah. pivoting. Yeah. yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. mind that at all. Like I think this podcast, like you said, I, I don't think we haven't outgrown it, but we are out, we are outgrowing it at this point right now. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Yeah. So it's like, there's more opportunity for us in different avenues. And I, I don't think that we should stray away from, uh, those things that do come up. And if mm -hmm. we have to focus on different things, that's perfectly fine. Right? Yeah. I think we all understand yeah. where we're all at. And I think the, the, the main point is like, I think we see the potential and we yeah. know the potential of each, every one of us as individuals, right? Uh -huh. But then the metrics are just not meeting those things that we want to. And it could be from our own control, it could be not, right? But then I think what we all feel is like we are worth something. Whether it's more than this, whether it's something else, right? So I think it's like kind of the search of trying to find what we're worth and really working towards yeah. it. And it's also being told what we're worth and then not filling it because yeah. of the because of the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like we we, we were well, like I said, when we're out in public and people are like, "Yeah, you guys, you guys are killing it." Well, well, fuck, I wish I wish I can think like I that. I wish it felt mm -hmm. that way almost. You know what I mean? And yeah, also yeah. now, yeah, and yeah, also, yeah. and like I, I also feel like because of the podcast, it's it's feeling like people are being kind of turned off from me having a conversation with us or mm. thinking we're this and that mm. and then and you felt that way before yes mm. i have feel like that i mm. do i still do feel like that huh. okay. not in multiple occasions right with certain individuals yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah you know and so mm. i'm like wow like i thought we were cool yeah you know and interesting yeah. see you don't have to be out there but yeah. like i had I, this conversation with p recently and i was mm -hmm. like Damn, do you feel this way? He I, goes, I was like, yeah, I feel like that. No, Tay, I've been told you this. This is how, like, you never had this issue until this, you, we started yeah. doing this. But I told you before we even started this podcast where you think people like you or you think that you have a good con connection with them or a good relationship or you've done something for them, they did something for you. Yeah. And time passes and maybe you don't talk to them, but you see them again and it's just not the same as you mm, saw them before. But nothing yeah. has happened between you two. Yeah. But it's just weird now. Mm -hmm. And that's just one of those things where I told you, it's like, don't, I have a problem with it where I think about it or it weighs on me too much. Mm -hmm. But now I, I approach these things where like, I just can't change who I am at this point. Like, yeah. I just can't change who I am. Like I'm going to mm -hmm. continue to treat you the same way I treated you before. Um, if things change because of a way you feel or way you spoke to me or a way I spoke to you, then please let me know. That's fine. But like, I don't think that you should stray away from the character you are because of somebody else has a, uh, an opinion or a thought or a sp had a conversation about you that you have no recollection of, you know, it shouldn't mm -hmm. matter. Yeah. And it's then just hard just, though. Yeah. And then yeah. at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't change my outcome of life. It doesn't, exactly. what, that one person's opinion about what we're doing is not really going to affect anything, but also yeah. it's like, damn, I thought we were doing something. You got to approach things differently. You know? And yeah. so now, now I have to look at it and be like, all right, seeing that's where the negative thoughts come in mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, this person fucks with me, but do they really now? Yeah. You yeah. know, and then mm -hmm. you have to sit there and like shadow it and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, for real. Like, uh -huh. and then I'm like, Feels damn, fake I'm, as fuck, huh? I'm like yeah. sitting there like, damn, no, I feel yeah. fake for doing Feels this. Fake as fuck. And then mm. I'm like, damn, do I really feel this way? But then also, <laughs> but then also you meet me in public. I really will do shit for you. I really yeah. will fucking cook for you. Exactly. I really will. I, yeah. Everything that people are saying about me, I really will fucking do. Yeah. He really will. And then, you know, it's crazy. Yes. Like we, Michael met Henry and, and, and introduced me to his head chef. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and then he and then he was like talking about. He's like, yeah, this Tay's made like one of the best meals I've ever eaten at home. Like it's so fire. Like, and then he was trying to like. He was like, he, he was like, gassing. what is that sauce you made? Jail. I'm like, jail yeah. soap. He's like, I can't even pronounce it. That shit was so fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then his chef was just looking at me. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. And I was like, okay, this is like a weird interaction yeah. Yeah. between me and him now because I'm like, what? Well, I don't know where this was supposed to go. Yeah. And then, but then also, then Michael was like, yo, we should sit down together. 
let's cook together and let's have a conversation again. Okay. And then I'm like mm-hmm. sitting there, I was like, okay, cool. And then, cause then also you hear from people like, oh yeah, like you're not going to get followed up with, you're not going to, I'm like, okay, then I don't know how to feel. But then also then when you see all this love in person, you can feel this love mm. and then you follow up you're like, okay, now I'm getting ghosted. Now I'm like, mm. is this really going to move happen? forward? No, no, not, not with him. I'm just saying yeah. in general, well, you in have, general. you have yeah. interactions. That was a great interaction, but also yeah. didn't feel like genuine, genuine with the other person. Oh yeah, yeah I you know, between me and Michael McHenry, it yeah. was like cool. But then between him and his chef, like me and his chef, it was like, okay, where does this conversation go? I was like, well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. That was it, and that was it, and we parted away. I get, mm, that's tough. I, I, that. I get his pers- the, the head chef's perspective in a sense of like he may have felt threatened, in a sense of like, oh, you're a really good chef, but it wasn't like you were trying to take his job. No, 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 yeah, but he doesn't know that. I'm not trying to take anyone's job, and I don't think he really yeah. cared about to hear to hear about that. To be honest with you, so yeah. you know, so and that's so, why. Mm. For me, if I had, when I'm in that situation, I was like, do I talk to him now? Do I explain? Do I, like, what kind of, like, do I yeah. have this conversation? Or, and then also there's another conversation that comes up in mind. It's like, do yeah, I save this for the podcast? So them duck spring rolls yeah. are so good. Yeah. Um, do I save this for the podcast? <laughs> that happens a lot with me. Mm-hmm. It's like, do I save, because I meet people in public when I'm yeah, getting yeah. introduced to them. I'm like, they're like, what do you do? What, do, what kind of stuff do you do in the yeah, podcast? Yeah. And I talk to them and then I ask them what they do. And then now the conversation is going to parts of like, damn, do I want to have this discussion here or do I want to save it for another conversation for a potential episode that we're going to have? Or just an, and then I yeah. feel kind of, and then, then at that point it's like, now people are feeling closed off by me because I'm having those thoughts in my head. Mm. I'm not having those uh, genuine conversations. Cause remember we did uh, the yeah, meet. Don't let that stop you. But no, but uh, we had the meet episode where yeah, yeah. With Nephi, Nephi, you after yeah. said, Hey, you were so off on this episode. But then I, then I said, I, mean, I said, Hey, it's because I've had this conversation with him before. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then, but then now on the podcast, when people are watching, like, why is Tay not talking as much? Or why is he not doing this right. and that? And I'm like, mm-hmm. well, shit, I don't really want to ask these same questions because I already had it. So I'm waiting for you guys to do it. And that's yeah. okay. But it's, I think, I think for a piece of advice, and if you're feeling that way is to just bring up the conversation that you had spoken previously and think about ways you can navigate from that conversation to a different route. Talk that's too a, much. Yeah. I talk you know, too much. But I'm saying that that's, would, that's okay. Then I'm stuck that's two fine. hours. We, that's fine. <laughs> On this show, we talk. You yeah, know this I mean? is what it's meant for. Yeah. But like, yeah, don't be afraid to like, I remember the conversation we had when I first spoke with you. You talked about this, 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 and this. Like what else would it, you know, it's just, yeah. it's one of those things where don't think about it too heavy. Have a genuine conversation when people are trying to have that with you. And if it's mm-hmm. not, then cool, we walk away. Yeah, mm-hmm. is, is the root of the problem that you would say like, uh, that you're missing kind of an authentic connection with yes. the person? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm, but that's what I'm yeah, saying yeah, though, because yeah, yeah. now when I'm having conversations with people, it doesn't feel as genuine from my side because mm-hmm. now I'm trying to turn into- A business decision. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because and also our, people are like, <laughs> Man, I love to be on the podcast. You get it all the time. You know, people. <sighs> mm-hmm. And then it's like, well, yeah. do you fuck with me or do you fu- want to have a voice on the podcast? And then it's like, really, <laughs> then 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 it becomes more negative connotations because it's like, mm-hmm. do they really fuck with us? I have, I do, I think I do a good job of handling those, honestly. Yeah, and me too. Yeah. I just walk away. I'm just like, <laughs> just, um, I was like, yeah, appreciate you, man. I think I'll that's see, my. I'll see you see if we're available, you know, but. But if, if if it's people that I know and yeah, see that's different when you know the people. Mm-hmm. But even even then, if it's people I don't know, I, I'm gonna be straight up with them. I was like, "What do you do? Like, what is it that you do that you think I wouldn't say deserves, but like you should be on a platform to to say what you you want, right? Like, I, I asked them straight up, like, "What is it that you do? Like, at all? Mm. I don't. I've never heard of you, and this is no disrespect, but I don't know what you're doing at all. And then you know you have that conversation. They tell you, and then cool. I'll look and see if you're getting, getting schedule. If it's something that's worthwhile and meaningful, you know, yeah. not to say that human beings and people aren't worthwhile or meaningful. It's just for this specific, like this, it's like what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's also my like uh, my struggle of going out. It's like I want to just hang out with people I fucking enjoy, whether it's like yeah. new faces, whatever. It's just like I wanted to just to hang out, mm-hmm. right? And then like I feel like when you go out especially like with certain types of networking, it can be a lot of that. And I think that's what you guys have been kind of dealing mm. with. Yeah, I mean, I do. I mean, Tay's, this is the, mm. the most that's happened for him in his life in a long time. So it's like mm. a little bit different because he mm. never was outside. He was yeah, never, before I didn't really care because yeah. I had the people around me that I really cared yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. And then when you carry that over though, yeah. and you really care for everyone, like I really, like people. Genuinely, yeah. yeah. Don't really understand that because they don't feel that from a lot of people. So they, mm-hmm. they have this wall up, right? And then when they meet me and they're like, okay, this is, this is real. Does he really care? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I really do care. And when I meet yeah. you in public, when I meet anyone in public, 
and I have these conversations with you, I really do care as a person what kind of person you are or if, yeah. what you're going through in life. I have people in the podcast that have, we've been that have been guests on here that still talk to me every every week. Mm-hmm. They have these conversations with me every week. How yeah. how they feel, all this stuff, and I give them my time. Yeah. And Brian Chow will literally sit there and he's like, "I'm waiting for him to cook for again." He tells all these people, <laughs> "He's like, yeah. he thought Thanksgiving, he thought we were to have Thanksgiving again this year," and he was like, "Wait, you guys don't have a house?" <laughs> like, where we, he literally said, "Where are we going to do Thanksgiving?" He said, "Where are we going to do it?" <laughs> and we, I looked at that's him, I was like, actually funny. And I said, "Next year, Sobies? No, I'm not doing Thanksgiving this year." I, well, you need a break because you, you've been hosting not, Thanksgiving for years now. I even, we've, yeah. we've hosted Thanksgiving every year since we lived in that house. Yeah, and true. mind you guys, big fucking Thanksgiving too. Yeah, like is, I, only, I only pop not in no, like not a week for shit. a second. Yeah, literally. It's like, yeah. you, I, we it's literally big. have all Thanksgiving food, but then we have all this Asian food. food on God. And then last year That's I made pho. I had pho and everyone was like, well, you have pho? And then actually never gets killed. I will have pho for like six days <laughs> after I make it. Literally it got killed that night. I and I was like, whoa, what it's the hell? Fun. But we had a lot of people in and out of the house, uh-huh. you know? And yeah. for me, once again, and like, I'm, I really think it comes down to the point now of like, like I don't even love cooking right now. Mm. So I kind of mm. like stepped away. So I'm still really thinking how I'm going to interact when we get into this new house. I don't want to, I think when I get into this new house, I'll finally just be at peace with myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think right now I have too much on my mind of where it's I'm true. at. You You're know, in a like transition. yeah, I'm in a tra- we're in a transitional phase where we're not we don't have a home that's ours. We're living with the in laws. Kitchen's not yours. Kitchen's yeah. not. But it's also like I can do whatever I want. I know, house. but like, I'm saying. That. But also to me, it's like now this has given me a breather yeah. to really step back, really, really reevaluate what I really love in this life, mm-hmm. yeah. and what I want to accomplish now. Yeah, and yeah. you know, first of all, I want to pick up on. I want to start doing social media marketing stuff for people. I want to go shoot behind the scenes. I want to get paid for this shit. I want yeah. to do what Brian Chow is doing, what Murphy Yang is doing, what all these guys that have been on this podcast. Yeah. I want to do that stuff now. I want yeah. to market myself and put myself in a position where I can make money off this shit now. Yeah, it's a hella industry right there. Yeah. yeah, and then whether it's me being in front of this camera or if I have to just go step back and just all be right. behind the camera and do stuff for other people because I think that they have a better product to sell or they Creative can sell stuff better at that point. I mm. just want to step back and really think about it now. Yeah. Yeah. That's healthy though. I think it's, you should be able to take a break cause you, you honestly you've been cooking and doing all these things for <laughs> literally <people>. in f- <laughs> like <laughs> nonstop. So I think it's healthy to take a break for anybody yeah. that's like doing anything that they love. Like uh, there's a certain point where you have to kind of take a break for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have you, have you felt underappreciated at all as of recently? All the time. Yeah. No, that's, that's all. Why, that's why I asked. It's, yeah. all the, it's literally all the time because. That's why I ask. Because I sit there and I appreciate people around me. Right. Mm-hmm. I do say, yeah. When you ask me, it's like, hey, do you need anything from me? I was like, I just need you to show up. I just need you to be there. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's all I say. Because that's, but that's my version. Or like how like we'll bicker sometimes. And I step away. You, even the last few times when <laughs> you guys got into it with him, mm-hmm. I did, they're like. That day you came in and you were like, I didn't really sleep much. I didn't eat. I like, I didn't. <laughs> oh, and I just sat here and they were like. Amy's like, wow, you didn't say anything? I was like, I was kind of already... pushing his buttons. But no, I, I know. Amy likes pushing his buttons too, but I also know where he's at right now. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, why I, that's why I piss her off yeah. too. <laughs> and then, but then, then for me, it's like, I don't say anything because I know he really is feeling that type of way right now. He just like, gives the time to breathe. <laughs> yeah, like you The know. whole time I was thinking, I was like, he's just a spoiled younger yeah, sibling. He, he, he is. Because <laughs> you're the spoiled younger sibling. Yeah, exactly. No, I am. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah, yeah, that's I, why I was like, I'm I don't have that dynamic with anybody, like too many other people. So I was like, yeah, I could do I'm dead ass as a spoiled little kid, swear to God. Talking. But like it's one of those things where like I I will do what I'm capable of to help you in any way I can like mm-hmm. you know but Tan understands what my capability sometimes uh. and he knows <laughs> not to ask much of me because I can't really do shit besides have a conversation with you or maybe go get some food or you know I I can't really do much share some music but like it's yeah, it's hard you, you always undersell yourself but it's <sighs> but, but also I know that and that's why when he like tells me he wants to do things. When he said he wants to figure stuff out, when we before he even got put onto the podcast, uh-huh. when it, I so we we and him yeah. had a conversation about life, yeah, it's and true. Then, yeah. And then he, I sat there and I was me and you had the same conversation. Me and Boo have had the same yeah, conversation yeah. Yeah. before I even stepped in and said anything. I already knew what kind of person I know who I am in life. Yeah, mm-hmm. I already know that I just I'm just here to help everyone else out. Yeah, I don't care what's going on in my life. <laughs> I'll figure it out. At the end of the day, I have I have my backup. She got me. I got everyone else. And that's all, that, that's all that matters. You're really the backbone. Yeah, she really is. Without her, without <laughs> so her, I love you. Love without you. her being here, I wouldn't be able to posi- be in the position I am right now. Right? Yeah, and that's yeah. for a lot of us. But also, it's like, 
I've had this conversation of everyone. Yeah. And now I understand. It's like, that's who I am in life. And that's why, yes, when P asked if I felt underappreciated, it's because it's not because I don't feel appreciated by you guys. Of course. It's the work that we're doing for everyone else that's watching this. Yeah. And then now I'm not feeling the appreciation. It's like, why do we even need to do this? If, I feel that. Yeah. You know, it's like we put in all this work, really. And yeah. it's like, what is it really doing for everyone? Right. Right. And so now it comes to be like, yes, we're sharing these stories. And but who is really watching all the way through and getting True. these stories into them mm -hmm. right and then really taking it in and really like putting this knowledge into themselves yeah i was like i don't really know what the turnaround is for this yeah. like i see yeah. the views views don't matter i just really i just really want people to really take in everyone it's that's coming on yeah. and being provided to them yeah yeah right and i i totally understand that because i've i we all felt that right mm -hmm. the numbers kind of reflect that mm -hmm. but then that's why i was like we're just investing in ourselves yeah because everything that we do is for us. Yeah. Like if, it, if people don't want to tune in, we can't control it. Like we can do what we can with the algorithm and all the bullshit and all the social media. We stuff. can if we go viral. I mean, you just have to viral. say one word right now. I gotta say, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know what's what, kind of funny. Word? <laughs> you know what's funny? I because uh, uh, right now I have a comment on TikTok that is uh, that's oh, very yeah, popular. You told me that this right? No, well, I I, I pride myself on my comments on TikTok <laughs> and YouTube, right? I just like doing them for funsies. Yeah. And ones get and every single one that I've been getting that's hot right now is always something Batman related. <laughs> so I was like, if I can get on a fucking comic book podcast, that'd be fucking sick. Because it's like you I guys actually, hear that? I actually say things that are like uh, that people enjoy. You know what I'm saying? You can but relate. It, it was like it's just it's just one of those things. Uh, going back to uh, the original point. Is like, yeah, we're just, we, at this point, we're just doing it for ourselves. Because people yeah. are, like, we're in a smaller city. We're growing in our infancy of creative or whatever have you, right? Uh -huh. So it's like, uh, f like at this point, I stopped watching the numbers. And I just really said, just fuck it. Because I really enjoy, like, when somebody comes on, they want to come on. Which is yeah. really that's fucking true. dope. Yeah, that's, and that should be that's, enough sometimes. We yeah. love that so yeah. much. But also, it's like, when I'm watching this, I'm like, we should, people should be feeling how we feel. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, yeah. for real. Like, when we yeah. have people on these podcasts, we're... And we're tuning in with them, really sitting here having these conversations yeah. with them. I really feel like these are genuine conversations that people yeah. need to really be hearing. But then the, yeah. you have to look at it from the mindset of a consumer because it's very like when you're not doing the work and you feel it the most because you do the most work. Yeah, you, do the most. you two do the most work, right? So it's like you guys feel it the most because like you guys are putting in the most effort. But the consumer doesn't see any of it. So they don't care. They don't care. Like it's like even when we see somebody come out with the collection. Like, there was so much fucking work that goes into collection from the development to the photo shoots to the develop or to the execution and putting it out to market. Like, we can we can look at the Mike Tyson Kith shirt and be like, oh, that's ass. You know what I mean? It's so actually it's like, so fire. It's actually it's so it's, fire. It's the fire. marketing for it. The, the marketing. <laughs> the, I use his love for example because we <laughs> talked you, about when it. When you know the history that he used yeah. to love, like he loved pigeons and yeah. shit. It's so funny because I had Shit's to so explain good. it to Amy. Uh -huh. And then I was like, Shit's so good. that's had, so great. You haven't seen that video, Amy? He's holding two pigeons, literally. He goes, now kiss. <laughs> now kiss. Because he, he can't say <laughs> kiss. Because he has a lisp. Yeah, because he has a gap. Kid. <laughs> so we have that appreciation, right? right? So my point is, is like, the, like, the, like the consumer only wants like big fucking names, even if there's like True. somebody as fucking dope as Afro Foo on our show. Yeah. Like, Which like, is crazy. I've had so many people, when they had that episode, and mm -hmm. I, I feel bad about it, but when we had that, because I was a dick, I was interrupting, but when we had that episode, <laughs> So many people came and commented mm -hmm. to me saying I had no idea like these were the things that he had to go through exactly. to become who he is mm -hmm. now. Like I didn't exactly. know he had fans. His, I don't know how his he, friends that are in his life. Yeah, didn't know all these like, stories. They didn't hear yeah. this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right? and then he told me his mom and his dad reached out to him, mm -hmm. talked to him about the video. Obviously, they don't speak that much English, but they were like they commented. The his yeah. mom commented on the video. Yeah, see, mm -hmm. so it's just those things like that right there. I'm like, yeah. That's enough. Like yeah. that's enough. Like for me, we have to. But that's what we're doing it for. Yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. what. That's yeah. when I. And like I said, at the end of the day, yes, analytics are whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't really care about the analytics. I just really want to care that we're doing the right thing. Yeah. 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 That's all. That's all, that's all that matters to me. Is this emotional attachment that I have to this podcast needs to be out there. Yeah. People really need to feel the emotion that we're really out there, really trying to get these people on and really have these conversations with mm -hmm. them. And we really don't say no. We you really had we really yeah. haven't said no to anyone. We've had to slow down because we, now we only do one episode a week, yep. and that's the real reason that we've kind of taken a step back. So we didn't really bring people. On. We've had a lot of guests that have that we've seen ask us, "Yo, can I do the podcast again?" Mm -hmm. We've had people hitting us up, "Yo, can I do the podcast?" And I'm like, mm -hmm. I wish we could. If we did it at the old house, 
yes, come by. A lot easier, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, come by. Mm-hmm. Easy. Yeah. But now it's like only Monday. Yeah. yeah and we, like we don't want to take up all the time that we have using this space. Mm-hmm. I'm taking up your space because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you, yeah, you got to go home. You got dogs. You got a house. You got to <laughs> cook dinner. And so thank God for Boo Boo and Matt because Matt has to sit here with us to make sure that nobody doing anything wrong in his warehouse, yeah. nobody yeah. burning it down Still because they have to, whatever, it's yeah. still a shared space. So shout yeah. out to him for being here and sitting with us behind the, <laughs> behind the cameras behind and the cameras. just waiting for all this to happen. Go today out. in front of the camera. Yeah, today in front of the camera. <laughs> today. And he's, he's been he waiting always, for this opportunity. He, always, <laughs> he only, only said the intro. That yeah. was it. <laughs> Go He's only real. said like two things. I said like two or three things. I've just been sitting here. I haven't said shit. Yeah. <laughs> How was that experience? It's been good. It's been good. Tell you, so I'm, tell me, so I'm tell me about your strange. childhood trauma. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot. I don't have a lot. Yeah, he has a lot. I think we all do, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. we do. We got, a little, we got heaps. We all have the same correlation in life, Lay Ocean. We're a Southeast Which Asian. Ocean? Yeah. The Which ocean. ocean is shit. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt went through his era, colored pants, double polo. Yep. Like, the like, double polo is crazy. Pants, man. I have those too, though. Wait, which one? Which color pants was your favorite? The red ones or the maroon? The maroon, the maroon ones. ones. I had yeah, I had light maroon, blue. Amy's those had blues green and red. Green. She had these green ones. She wore all the time because she likes the Celtics, mm. uh, and so she wore these green ones all the way. And I was like, hey, I miss those days. You cannot wear colored jeans anymore. I had, I had less problems. degree. <laughs> I had less problems. <laughs> well, when you think less, about it like that, yeah. of course. Less bitches, less problems. <laughs> oh my God. Now, he's less like, money, I'm too sexy, now he has man. no bitches and all the problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think what, we, what we're doing is great. I just have to fucking keep my head out of the fucking darkness and just fucking really just look. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And really just look forward. <laughs> That's really. I have to stop. I really have to stop looking at life and like thinking about being the light for all everyone else. We have to be a light for myself sometimes, yep. and that's 100%. where I'm. Yeah. That's where I've grown as a person mm-hmm. because now, before I would hit up everyone like, "Yo, you doing good?" Blah blah blah. Like when, yeah. now, in per- even in person, now, I don't even ask people how they're doing. I'm living and they're like, "Damn, this is not you." I'm like, "Well, fuck! I I created a monster. Now I can't control it because yeah, I I'm, I was too <laughs> nice to everyone, and now everyone expects me to still be too nice." And I'm like. Yo, like, it, hey, I, I don't feel like that anymore. From what I'm understanding, and before we, we end this off, but it's like, I think that, and it's not a problem. Well, maybe it is. But it's more so that, yeah, you have cared so much for so many other people. Not to say you didn't care for yourself, but you, you are putting so much for other people that you have forgotten about yourself. Yeah. And that's mm. just what it is. Mm. And that's, okay, I'm, I'm, that's okay. Like, you're learning and you're understanding it, but, like, you now come back to, you finally came back to yourself. You're like, oh shit, I'm putting all this into these other people that really aren't doing anything for me. I, mm-hmm. I'm glad I have these relationships and I'm glad I know you and I'm glad I could b- maybe utilize you in something that I need help with, but you're not doing anything for my everyday life. Mm. So like, I get that. Like I've, I've been there before. I've always yeah. wanted to be with my friends. I always wanted to hang out with people. I never wanted to be alone. I'm alone constantly now. Honestly, I love. And we're not even <laughs> we're not even in Discord anymore. Yeah, just, bro. I I'm I'm just not, be on my computer playing games with myself, bro. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's easier for you because you didn't have you. Were, it was easy for you to back out. I never yeah. was on Discord. Yeah, you yeah. were never. But in then the... here's the thing, man. You find solace within yourself, okay? And that's where I'm at that's right where now. He's, that's yeah. what yeah. I've I figured it out, and I know where my passions are. I know what I love doing right now. I still want to do the podcast. I still want to do the clothing brand. I just need to step back and execute better. Yeah, oh, yeah, all of it yeah. is about executing the right thing now and making sure I'm putting out the right clothing instead yeah. of like doing a pop every up every month. weekend yep. and every month. There was a there was a time where I know that you were falling out of love with it because we were doing an event every, every week. We every, were, and you were like yeah, trying to we figure were. out how to design something every week that you love that everyone else would love. Yeah. And I know that's hard on you because I get it now. Mm-hmm. I when I when it, when, <laughs> the, when the pressure got put on me, Amy's like, we need a design. I'm like. Oh, yeah. again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta do it again? Yeah, yeah. It's just like the love of creating is, you want to love what you create. Yeah. And then plus, and two, and two, we're trying to find the means yeah. to create things we like, you know, and it's very challenging to do. So I don't know. I think we just got to be patient with ourselves. We got we to gotta, we gotta just not rush everything. Yeah. I think that's the thing. And that's the one thing I'm taking away from all this. Well, for us doing a podcast once a week, Mm-hmm. I'm having more time to myself. We're having, having more time for the relationship. Yeah. And then having now I'm ha- re- being able to regather my thoughts. Because honestly, you guys all probably felt it. Having a conversation with strangers every week, twice a week, it kind of takes a toll on you. It does, yeah. especially when you're not getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, I think the hardest thing, too, is like sometimes I don't even remember some of the conversations and I feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because there's just so much that's happening in my fucking yeah. life. 
-hmm. And I'm trying to remember this conversation that I had with you for an hour. And I'll remember bits and pieces, but it's like, damn. Yeah, that's a great point. Like life is just so, you know, we're adults and we, like there's so much I have to keep up with for my own sake. Yeah. Uh -huh. And once again, we all have different mindsets. We all have different approaches and we all have different. But dude, my memory's fucking shit right now. And sometimes we're, <laughs> we, we're dealing with something before we get in the room. Yeah. hundred percent. And, and then, yeah. And it's, it's, gotta, we got to turn it off and yeah. then turn this one on. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we could be in the middle of a fight running the podcast on his on. <laughs> All right, y'all, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I'm fucking, I'm so sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, we should and open the like, pod Welcome like back, that. welcome back to the episode of so 186 <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Dude, I had, we had a tough couple of weeks. The fucking Yankees fucking lost. Like, uh, we knew the Dodgers were going to win that one. Yeah, we knew the Dodgers. Yeah, yeah. Let's be real. We I'm knew. still rooting for Shohei, but, but we knew the Dodgers were going to win that one. But at the end of the day, we were still a Yankees fan. And when that happened, I'm like, God. I mean, also was like, Aaron Judge, you fucking forgot how to fucking catch a fly ball? In the World Series, yeah. In the that's fucking tough. World Series, yeah. choked. Garrett Cole, you didn't want to run the first base when yeah, that's Garrett your one Cole job? Also, yeah, that also is crazy. We I had mean, five errors. This is the first time I've ever watched baseball in my life, and this, this shit was crazy. Honestly, it was so crazy because like, we were watching we were watching game one at my sister's house. We're supposed to be at that game, uh -huh. first of all, because I said, hey, we're going to this fucking first game. Series, if they go World to the yeah, yeah. they, And then we sat there, and then we didn't get paid because the house didn't fucking, they took too long to pay <laughs> us. And we're like, all right, fuck it. And I said, I literally said, this is how I said to her, I said, there are going to be two fucking home runs into the fucking right side of the field, and we're going to fucking catch that shit. And there was. Freddie Freeman fucking Freddie walk fucking off grand Freeman. slam. And we went to right into the stadium or right into the stage where yeah, we were right like, side, yeah. I was like sitting there. It's like, fuck, I was right. I called it. I could have caught that ball. Or I could have been in the area with mm -hmm. the ball. You should, put a, you should have put a six leg on that hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking two leg. Yeah. Freddie Freeman will walk off. No, just run. even just doing. Yeah, the Freddie Just doing that yeah. would have been like plus 10,000. Yeah. Because no one would. First of all, the game has to get into overtime. Yeah. To do a walk off home run like yeah. that. And so we're sitting like, fuck. All that shit was great seeing that. I don't know anything about that. But Penguin just ended. So that's my. <laughs> Yeah, 2.1 million views on the final episode. 2.1 wow. million. Have you guys watched it? No. No, no, no. 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 Okay, okay. Have you I'll watched Arcane? Uh, I just barely learned that oh, people really fucking that. love that show. Arcane is really good. I heard, I just barely learned that. I was like, they just changed the fucking AR map. That shit's so crazy. Yeah, bro, but the TFT set looks crazy. Yeah, the TFT. next one? Yeah. I'm going to uh, play it. I'm going to play it. Yeah. I'm going to play it. When I will it watch that show because I just Arcane. heard, I heard nothing but good things. It's great. Yeah. It's a great animated series. I heard it was like, especially one of the coming best from a game. And you understand, like, yeah. League has so much history. I like the lore. It's so, it's actually runs so deep. The only reason why I didn't get into League is because the community is trash. Well, yeah, very tough. Was oh, yeah. level two guys. I don't know how to play the game. Of course, <laughs> I don't know how to play trash everywhere you go. Even in yeah, TFT, Call of Duty, TFT. I know. That's why I don't online game too much unless it's like. Dude, you weren't I ready for the dude. We all Call of Duty. That's all you had to remember. Call of Duty, fucking lobbies. lobbies. Yeah, you weren't Fuck. built for that. You, Moose, you weren't. Uh, you weren't built. For I those. was. Uh, I played Modern Warfare like two. But you weren't online. built for it. Yeah, you weren't built for it. That's why I you played Halo. For. That was pretty toxic too. Yeah, Halo oh, yeah. was. Guys, you guys, I, I Halo I was game. ahead of its time when you think about it, though. Yeah. I game. Okay. Halo you know, Utah just pretty, won I'm the good. fucking. They just uh, they did a tournament up at Space Station, and oh, really? the, our Utah team won the the, the, the Halo one. Yeah, really? the Halo one. Oh shit! That. That's they hosted it here. It was like the it was like the pretty much the World oh, Series the one that of Halo. Was that? Huh? Yeah. The Space Station, the convention center, right yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. I've been late. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just actually met the guy. He he works for them. And then we met him. He met the, we met him at the Taylor Morgan event. Yeah. And he was like telling me, he's like, yeah, we just did this event. I was like, dude, I saw all this. I didn't know that we have this here in Utah. We went there for the fingerboarding event too. Ah. Um, I didn't know they owned the whole entire whole fucking, fucking warehouse. <laughs> it's a fuck. It's like this, but they owned the whole thing. And I was huh. like, damn, crazy. or like half of it. But it's just so big. Um, okay. But thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I was like, we're, we're, yeah, yeah, we're, no, yeah. we're, no, we're ready. We need to go eat, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. But thank you guys for tuning in episode one twenty one off the menu podcast. Make sure you guys follow everything that we're gonna be doing. Make sure you guys tune into the events that we're gonna be like, hosting. Comment, subscribe, arm bounce P two live conversation to fun. I love y'all. Stop being stinky. Subscribe. Pipe popper. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just love yourself. <laughs>